Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mario Bellavance, and welcome once again in today's webinar or speech uh, about cooling tower and preventing lesionous disease. Uh, this uh, speech would be entitled the ABC about cooling tower and risk management. Uh, I put my tie on and now I'm looking like a teacher, a professor, a PhD, a doctor. So I hope uh, you will enjoy this session. Uh, for the E is uh, there is a risk. Why and how there is a risk that the cooling tower transmits lesionist disease. B is for drift eliminators reduce this risk. And C is drift eliminators have limit. So there's three points that I will uh, talk about. So let's talk first about there is a risk that uh, lesionist disease transmits lesionist disease. So I have my book here, Legionary Disease, for Diversity, Shift the Paradigm, and I open it uh, at the page, uh, the page one minute. I have to put my glasses on once at uh, the page uh, 40, and uh, this chapter five. And uh, right, you know, see, you, you can see in the, um, uh, right there, it's the the technology of cooling towers is amazing. Water falls down while an air draft is passing through, causing evaporation and its consequence, the cooling of the remaining water. Water falling down, air pa passing through. That's all. So this is the point when we are talking about cooling tower and why it's at risk to transmit lesionist disease. You have the air, you have the water, and they are in close connection together because it's through evaporation that we have the cooling of the remaining water. So keep that in mind. And let's see if we compare it to a uh, heat exchanger. You have the piping, you have the plate, separating the air from the water. There is no direct contact, it's close. This is why uh, an heat exchanger is not at risk in itself to transmit lesionist disease, while a cooling tower is uh, the technology that can transmit that disease because we have close relation, close contact, between air and water and you know just to add to your culture we have different way to that the water get can get in contact uh, you can have uh, like a plate like this that uh, it the water goes from that to another another this is one and you have different design you can have uh, this type of design uh, or this type of design, all of them are the same uh, 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 pattern, which is a splash bar. You have to put uh, some uh, water droplets and the water droplets get into contact with water. And you have this, we call it fill pack. You can see it. There's a field pack inside the cooling tower to stop the fall of the water, to bring it like in a film where uh, the water and the air get into contact together. There is uh, only that within a cooling tower. It's not uh, a problem. Uh, this is why, you know, like carpenter uh, able to do the job and all that. But when we think about Lesionist disease, we have to be a wider mind because this is different. And let me tell you just a story like I do usually. I was like in the uh, 
in the uh, administrative tribunal of the county uh, in Florida, which called, uh, what, what's again, uh, Broward County. And we were, you know, uh, just uh, presenting the case that according to our could be at risk. And an engineer, it amazed, amazing, an engineer said, oh, no, don't worry. It's just like a uh, heat exchanger. It was just uh, confusing the people that, you know, because we have a cooling tower, we cool or we have a heat exchanger between the air and the water. But, you know, he get ignorant, he, he, he neglect to talk that uh, within a cooling tower, there's close contact between the air and the water. So this is my first lesson that you must grasp. And let's go for the second one. Uh, one minute. It takes always a time to change the background. So let's go on the field. Uh, okay. So we are in the field. This is the drift eliminators. Uh, it's, you know, you can see here uh you can see here you know where the air can go through that and if if it's the wall and then the water can get in so the drift eliminators is the uh, uh, the piece of equipment that helps to keep the water within the cooling tower because you know when the air stream get out from the cooling tower you have you know the vapor it's about uh, 90 percent and more is the vapor and a part of it is the water droplets and you know i ask uh, like the manufacturer of drift eliminator could be brantwood and exo or even a uh, cooling tower manufacturer to let know our know our people or audience uh, what is the ratio uh, between you know the uh, water circulation volume and uh, the uh, the amount of water through droplets that can go through that and it's really minimum and when you have minimum of water droplets taken in mind. This is the water droplet that uh, can transmit Legionnaire's disease because through that, if it's infected through with Legionella, you you will uh, inhale it, and then it will get in the lung, and someone get uh, sick. So this is why it's a really important part. And uh, as usual, let me tell you another story. This comes from. Mr. Lefebvre, who was one of my mentors, and uh, I think it was like the last one of the last time I, I spoke with him uh, on the telephone. He, he said me uh, that story. You know, at the first stage, cooling tower didn't have uh, drift eliminators. It was not needed uh, because it's not uh, useful for the heat exchange. So it has been that because uh, like in the 50 or 40, but may, mainly in the 50, uh, a cooling tower was installed in Germany. And there you uh, face uh, like a winter and you get uh, uh, under the, the, highest, uh, the highest level. So, uh there was no uh drift eliminators and after a while it was like a ice castle uh, you know uh, ring and uh, people it was really uh, difficult for the neighbor uh, around that cooling tower and then there was an innovation which came come into being to bring uh, uh drift eliminators uh, to the cooling tower and now with Legionnaire's disease, let me tell you, there should not be any cooling tower without uh, uh, drift eliminators. Uh, it could be in North where you have the ice, 
or in the south because uh, everywhere you are at risk to transmit Legionnaire's disease and to reduce that risk, you need that part. Then, uh, you know, this part is uh, just uh, um, as a limit. And I will show you uh, this with another background. Uh, let's see the background here. So people are used uh, with that background because uh, you know, this is the Mali uh, SPX cooling tower, aqua tower, that I present all, all the time. Because uh, as you may know, the people there are target with the airflow, and uh, it's a risk that they, uh, they contract Lesnar's disease. But, you know, when there is a false or wrong thing, like a wrong installation, there's a lot of wrong uh with it so there, there has been uh for the uh air uh, uh the performance of this cooling tower was questioned because you know uh you may know uh like uh i can we can say here i think cti because uh, all the manufacturer cooling tower they are uh uh, certified to cool the water at a certain level and there has been uh, uh, such a performance test on this cooling tower series and it's certified by CTI but uh, when you install it the way it is uh, you can question this performance and uh, the thermal uh, group of the uh, Mali SPX said that uh, for that type of uh, cooling tower the weight in cell and uh, if you modify like uh, the air entrance uh, within the, uh, the wall behind you will uh, have like 97.7 percent uh, of efficiency who can uh, state such a statement you know because Cooling tower is such a complex uh, uh, about you know the the thermal uh, transfer that uh, you need a performance test and in this way uh, uh, it should have been a performance test on site but it was never done and this is what of the wrong thing and you know the third one which was really interesting is right uh, after weeks after it has been installed the way it is the people experience a lot of drift and we can have like water on the the, the ceiling uh, of the garage and uh, you know uh, drift was so such a important that they did reparation of the cooling tower and uh, once again, no one asked, uh, maybe it's uh, because of the wrong installation. They just uh, uh, installed baffle, something to keep the water in, in, the, in the cooling tower and uh, they don't uh, you know, go further. And that uh, wrong thing, because uh, it should have been asked Maybe this is an hypothesis that uh, I'm doing right now. <clears throat> that because of the installation, part of the uh, uh, this uh, this part of this opening uh, can be at higher velocity that it's supposed for the drift eliminators. So if you have higher velocities, then uh, you have problem because. Uh, you you uh, you are over the velocity in which the cooling the drift eliminators are operating to keep the water inside uh, the the cooling tower. So we have three points that I made to you uh, right now. A cooling tower is an equipment at risk to transmit Lesnar's disease because water and air get into contact together. And, you know, the cooling is through evaporation. So don't worry about the vapor. Uh, this is not the problem for uh, transmitting Legionnaire's disease. 
the problem is droplet and to limit it we need drift eliminators so i show you what the drift eliminators is and i show once in the third part that uh, for drift eliminators being at the right uh, performance uh, you need uh, that the air velocity at the uh, when you get out of the cooling tower at the limit it should be because otherwise you will have the drift and uh, so uh, to finish this program let me tell you through an inspection if you go through and buy the cooling tower and feel rain on yourself so it means that something wrong with the drift eliminators and you have to decide what is the problem is that deteriorated is that the velocity is you know things like that you must ask yourself and find the reason it can be the air gap i didn't talk about that but there is another point that we should have speak about but you know i think uh, my main uh, commitment was to uh, bring to you the basic the abc about cooling tower and risk management and i hope you enjoy it